Hello, welcome back to Rev Endurance Sports. And today is not another edition of what is in our stand. So today, um, with the authenticity of what it's like to be in a bike shop, I would like to uh, take on the role of a product reviewer. I run the business by myself, so that means I am the sales and marketing and mechanic and bike fitter and business development and all those things. But today, I'm a product reviewer. And what I'd like to do is talk to you about a company. Um, actually, let's back it up just a little bit. About two weeks ago, there was a show here in Southern California, and it's called the, well, it was a West Coast edition of a show that's been held in uh, Chicago. I believe it's called the Chicago, it's CABDA, so Chicago, Area Bicycle Dealers, and I believe that means Association Cabda. And this was the first time that they were here in uh, Del Mar, specifically in San Diego. And the weather was terrible, uh, so I feel sorry for those folks that came from the Midwest expecting sunshine and, and beautiful days uh, to do test rides and things like that, and even just to, to have a little vacation from the Midwest winter. But Unfortunately, San Diego disappointed and uh, had a week of rain and drizzle and rain. So anyway, I was able to, because the business kind of slows down a little bit, and I was able to manage my affairs so that I could attend the bike show, and I attended some seminars and things like that. On the last day, though, I was uh, just talking to the Niner rep um, because I hadn't seen him in a little while, and just asking him, hey, what else do you rep? And he said, well, there's a clothing line that maybe you want to take a look at. And he said, Seven Mesh. Hadn't heard of them. So I said, okay, well, let's go take a look. So of the three days that I was there, this was probably the only thing, I shouldn't say probably, uh, let's be more definitive. It was the only thing that got me excited and got me interested. And uh, the folks that are at Seven Mesh now that created their own company. They were part of uh, companies like Exterix, and I believe that's how you pronounce that. It's a high-end hiking, outdoor apparel, uh, clothing line, and they are passionate cyclists. They live in a arguably wet and cold area in uh, British Columbia of uh, Canada. And so they decided we want to make our own clothing because we see some things that are lacking. We see some things that are good in some of the clothing that we wear, but we want to do it our way. And so uh, they, uh, we struck up a conversation and the uh, security people are, you know, shooing us out as we are making a connection. And so we decided, OK, look, let's let's put this. Uh, forward to a call or something and so um, fast forward a couple of weeks and now I have been sent a care package from them and I appreciate uh, their gracious, graciousness in this generosity. So um, this is an unboxing video you've seen many of those and um, so the product review will come after it's been worn obviously. Now for some of you you may know that I'm a big proponent of wool, merino wool in specific, specifically. And wool has amazing properties. And unfortunately, we've gotten away from wool because of all the synthetics that we use. And I understand because you can't sublimate wool, right? Wool has to be, if you want some uh, sponsors and stuff, it has to be woven in, you know, stitched in and, and, and that's, a little bit more difficult especially when you have graphics all over your your jersey so that's much easier to do with lycra you you um, you can do that with um, speed and lots of flow through and create you know 100 kits in, in literally no time but with wool it's, it takes a little bit more time and attention but one of the amazing things about wool is the insulative properties of it um, along with other things such as it's antimicrobial. So um, I wear a lot of wool base layers and um, being a base layer, 
it is a base layer so it should be on your skin for it to do the most benefit and um, I've heard some people say that they're allergic to wool or they get itchy or something um, I, that's unfortunate because it is such an amazing material um, maybe they haven't had high quality wool products but that's okay they can find something else personally I wear wool and I wear it in thin layers depending on how cold or how wet it's going to be and yes this is a garment that when it's on your skin and you're sweating let's say you're on a long climb unzip everything and let that wool base layer you can feel the cold air coming through but honestly you're just not going to be cold and you're not going to stay wet because wool just doesn't stay wet and sometimes I ask people a very obvious question just to get them thinking that oh yes so you've never seen a wool towel before right they just don't make them but they do make them out of cotton and maybe other materials but you won't see them made out of wool because it just doesn't hold water it, it won't retain the water so this is a good uh, uh, property of wool now uh, they have taken a new approach so we have a wool jersey and this is called their Ashloo and I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly and this is a very nice color and one of the things I like about their clothing is they're not ostentatious type designs they are very subdued um, small logo uh, but in this particular case you've got your three pockets in the back they look a little small but we'll see how that works I have an iPhone 6 plus and so um, that might be a little bit of a struggle in there with with its case but we'll, we'll work that out it also has uh, two zippered pockets so you may have your key fob for your car and your medical ID card now here's just a, a little tip as an aside I know a lot of people put their medical ID cards or a photocopy of one or their driver's license in their seat tool bag and um, you know visual aid but if you have it in your tool bag and that's attached to your bike if you were to have an accident an emergency you get hit by a car or whatever the bikes gonna go one way and you're gonna go another way so the bike will go typically to the local fire station and then you're going to the hospital so I strongly suggest you carry it with you in your zippered pocket which the seven mesh Jersey allows all right, so there's a wool jersey and um, short sleeve. So, and by the way, you can wear wool um, in a very temperature range. So yes, you could wear it when it's really cold, but you know, 70s or 80s Fahrenheit is still fine to wear wool. You're not going to spontaneously combust this is called their Highline jersey and this is a very form-fitting very competitive type of fit and again with the zippered pockets in the back and uh, two reflective strips now I understand that some people are opposed to wearing dark colors and blacks and uh, things like that but you know it's very slimming <laughs> so um, it's possible that you might look the other way if you got a really nice garment and it's constructed really well and I'm looking at the seams and I'm looking at the work workmanship and this is a very high quality garment and it's it's very very light uh, not to be a weight weenie but the thing is that if you're wearing a garment and it's saturated in sweat uh, it just feels heavy and you don't feel like you're getting cooled off and so that that looks really nice and then lastly I was also sent a set of bibs now these are inside out just because I was inspecting them before I started the video but one of my main complaints with chamois with uh, cycling uh, shorts and bibs by the way wear bibs I, I don't understand people that wear shorts men that wear shorts I could understand for the women 
but there is a there is a nice little thing that seven mesh company does for women's bibs we'll get to that when i have those in hand but so just to reemphasize, you wear bibs right if you're a male okay the front end of this chamois you can just see it comes up and um i like the way that that is i also like the fact that there's uh no stitching on the seam now I don't know if you can see that in the in the uh, video, but it's it's it looks like it's bonded on there, which is really really a nice touch. And I've had a, I had a time trial suit made this way uh, with the bib this way, and it was super comfortable. And you would probably never wear a time trial suit for 200 300 miles, but that's how comfortable it was. And the chamois was um, a very nice comfortable chamois. The other thing I like about it, I, I can feel some multiple uh, densities, or I should say different, uh, like a, a gradient amount. So a little bit thicker here and, and then goes tapering down. So I like that because a lot of times if the chamois is just so thick everywhere, um, it bunches up and you chafe. So I'm very excited about uh, demoing these. And uh, today is Friday. Tomorrow is Saturday. I'm thinking about a fairly long ride. And so straight out of the box, these are going on my body because I'm really excited. And as I mentioned before, this is a brand I had not heard of ever, but my curiosity was piqued. And that's, I mean, it takes a lot to impress me about a company. Everyone uh, can claim that they've invented a better mousetrap, but does it really work when it comes down to it? So this is what they call their MK2. And the uh, CEO has told me that there's an MK3 that is uh, just about to be released, but he wanted my opinion on the MK2 and the MK3 and uh, to see whether the improvements that they made to the MK3 were worthwhile. Uh, they believe strongly that they are, um, I'm someone that, if you're new to the channel, you may not know, but I'm someone that rides anywhere from 10 to 12,000 miles a year. I do about a million feet of climbing. Some years I don't do as much, but I spend a lot of time in the saddle, um, not just throughout the year, but a lot of time in the saddle in one ride. And so it's very important that my clothing and the clothing that I recommend to my customer base uh, can can uh, can let's say be comfortable enough there's a point of diminishing returns if you're in the saddle for 12 plus hours most things are no longer as comfortable as they were the first hour you got on the bike but for the average person who wants to do a long 50 60 70 mile ride in the hills here that's a thousand feet of climbing that's a good three to four hour ride and uh, if you're doing a century recreational a grand fondo a miler or 120 miler you know you're looking at at least six to seven hours in the saddle so you want to be comfortable uh, to me the most important uh, article of clothing that you can own is a high quality bib now it's very important that people understand what a high quality bib short um, what the market will bear for high quality bib short and in my opinion it's anything at least over two hundred dollars i understand that you can find bargains and deals and you may be able to get a knockoff brand and you're get, and you're sitting pretty in a fifty dollar bib short but i would argue that that is not a high quality bib and just because you scored it at fifty dollars that doesn't mean it's um it's a great deal, right? So, um, in my opinion, you have to spend money on three very important uh, contact points with you and the bike. And that is the your feet, so that includes your shoes, your pedals. Uh, when looking at shoes, simple things like the sock choice, which 7Mesh also has socks. We're, we're going to be reviewing those. Sock choice shoes 
insoles, insoles in your shoes are very, very, uh, they're vital because of the way that we pedal, um, just the strange things. I am a bike fitter and I do see a lot of oscillation and varus and all kinds of things that could be corrected with a set of good insoles. Shoes, insoles, pedals, your cleat placement. All right, that's one contact point. The other is your handlebar. So, handlebar shape, handlebar tape, uh, handlebar position. And please, I don't even want to talk about padded gloves because if you have padded gloves on, in my opinion, your fit needs to be addressed. And lastly, but almost as important as all the others, if not more, is a good, very good bottom. So whether that be a short, and there are some innovative approaches to wearing bibs for ladies, or a high quality bib short for men. So there you go. That's a very, very down and dirty unboxing of some seven mesh clothing items. The weather here looks promising for a possible ride tomorrow. I'm so excited about getting out on the road on the seven mesh clothing. And as always, please uh, make comments, share with your friends. And, um, and if you've got some questions or some items you'd like for me to review or do some type of um, analysis or comparison, please make a comment below and we look forward to seeing you on the road. Thank you so much.